Hi, my name is Richa Shukla and I am a product manager with S3. Today, I will be talking with you about customizing data with Amazon S3 Object Lambda. During this video, I will provide you with an overview on what Amazon S3 Object Lambda is, how it works, and few of the use cases that it's really ideal for. Let us begin. First, let's see what S3 Object Lambda does. When you store data in Amazon S3, you can easily share it with multiple applications. Each application may have its own requirements and may need a different view of the data. S3 Object Lambda allows you to add your own code to process data retrieved from S3 before returning it to the application. You can easily present multiple views of your data for different applications by simply adding your own code with S3 get, head, and list requests to modify data as it is returned to the application. Because S3 Object Lambda is powered by AWS Lambda functions, your code runs on infrastructure that is fully managed by AWS. This eliminates the need to store derivative copies of your data or to run expensive proxies. S3 Object Lambda uses AWS Lambda functions to automatically process the output of S3 get, head, and list request. You can use new or existing AWS Lambda functions to modify the data returned to S3 GET request to convert data formats, for example, XML to JSON or JPEG to WebP. Dynamically resize images, redact confidential data, and much, much more. You can also use S3 Object Lambda to modify the output of S3 list request to create a custom view of objects in a bucket, an S3 head request to modify object metadata like object name and size. You can use S3 Object Lambda to enrich your object lists by querying an external index that contains additional object metadata, filter and mask your object list to only include objects with a specific object tag, or add a file extension to all the object names in your object lists. For example, if you have an F3 object with multiple discrete data set, you can use S3 Object Lambda to filter an S3 list response depending on the requester. Let's see how you can get started with S3 Object Lambda. With just a few clicks in the AWS Management Console, you can configure a Lambda function and attach it to the S3 Object Lambda access point. From that point forward, S3 will automatically call your Lambda function to process any data retrieved through the S3 Object Lambda access point, returning a transformed result back to the application. You can author and execute your own custom Lambda functions, tailoring S3 Object Lambda's data transformation to your specific use case. First, you will create a standard S3 access point. Then you create a Lambda function and tailor it to whatever data transformation suits your use case. After that, you will create an S3 object Lambda access point. This is a new type of access point and it is the endpoint at which you will point your application to. You configure that with the Lambda function and you point it to an underlying bucket using your standard S3 access point. Now, when a request is made, to the S3 object Lambda access point, it invokes that Lambda function. The Lambda function pulls the data out of S3, modifies it, and according to the Lambda function you provided, streams it back to the application, which means the processing of data happens in line with the request. Let's look at an example of how you can easily present multiple views of your data for different applications accessing the data. Let's say you have a single large shared data set in S3 that is accessed by multiple organizations, such as e-commerce application, analytics, and marketing. Each application requires a slightly different view of the data to meet its specific requirements. So for example, I have a data set here that was created by an e-commerce application 
and this data set contains personally identifiable information. This information is not needed when this data is being consumed by an analytics application. Whereas some of the data requires to be augmented with additional information when it is handled by the folks in the marketing department. For example, information from a customer loyalty database. So what we see here is that depending on who is really accessing the data, a different variant of that object is needed. As you can see in the image, this can be easily achieved using different S3 object lambda functions. Now, one really common use case that we've heard from customers is using S3 object lambda to perform all sorts of transformations on images. In many of these cases, customers want to use S3 object lambda and already use Amazon CloudFront as a caching layer. During AWS Pi Day 2023, we introduced CloudFront support for S3 Object Lambda. Now, customers with image sharing applications can use S3 Object Lambda to customize images on the fly and use Amazon CloudFront for caching at the edge. With this new integration, you can deliver customized content to your end users, depending on various characteristics, such as the device they're using to access your content or the country they are visiting from. Now, origin requests can be transformed by S3 Object Lambda. And then the results of that transformation are cached by CloudFront. Audible is one of the many customers that use S3 Object Lambda for a wide variety of use cases. Audible is the leading creator and provider of premium audio storytelling, offering customers a new way to enhance and enrich their lives every day. Audible content includes more than 790,000 audiobooks, podcasts, and Audible originals. They use S3 Object Lambda to dynamically modify streaming manifests, improving performance for the end users. Just like Audible, there are many data transformation use cases that can be simplified with S3 Object Lambda. Some examples include redacting personally identifiable information in analytics use cases, resizing images on the fly, a typical use case is customers with image sharing applications who want to resize images depending on the requester and the device they are using, like a mobile phone or a tablet or a laptop. Another example is filtering log data. Logs can get big and developers benefit when receiving only the log entries they require for their troubleshooting. For example, logs that contain certain keywords. By using S3 Object Lambda Access Point alias as an origin for your Amazon CloudFront distribution, the possibilities are endless. You can use this to implement automatic image resizing or to tag or annotate content as it is downloaded. Many images still use older formats like JPEG or PNG, and you can use a transcoding function to deliver images in more efficient formats like WebP, BPG, or HEIC. Digital images contain metadata, and you can implement a function that strips metadata to help satisfy data privacy requirements. In summary, S3 Object Lambda makes it much easier to share and convert data across multiple applications. Prior to the release of S3 Object Lambda, customers had to follow one of the two approaches. The first approach is to create and manage infrastructure as a proxy layer in front of S3. This proxy layer will then go ahead and create derivatives of objects in flight. The other option is to simply create many different derivative copies of the data and to store all of them so that each application has its own custom-built data set.
that is tailored for it. And neither option is exactly ideal, and both can quickly become expensive and difficult to manage. So we wanted to offer customers a better way forward. And this is really the value proposition of Object Lambda. It's a completely managed solution. There is no infrastructure to set up. There are no extra copies of objects that need to be stored. So as a customer, you can simply author a Lambda function. And with your custom code and Object Lambda, the functions are automatically invoked when you request objects from S3. Processing the objects before returning them to you adding agility to the process. With S3 Object Lambda, you can save on storage costs by easily presenting multiple views of your data for different applications without having to run complex softwares or infrastructure or saving multiple copies of data for different views. Let's see how Ryanair, one of our customers, used S3 Object Lambda in their applications. Ryanair launched a new COVID-19 travel wallet, which is available from their mobile application. Ryanair customers can use the COVID-19 travel wallet to upload their negative tests, COVID vaccination certificates, and other COVID documents that may be required for travel. Those documents are securely stored in Amazon S3. Here's how they used S3 Object Lambda. First, their mobile app requests information for the reservation. The API gateway triggers AWS Lambda with the information supplied. Lambda generates boarding passes and S3 URLs for the COVID-related documents. The application then requests COVID documents using the return S3 access point URLs. S3 Object Lambda checks if the PDFs have already been converted. If so, it responds to the client. If the PDF was not already converted to an image, Lambda does the conversion and responds with the image. By shifting this logic to AWS and using S3 Object Lambda, Ryanair was able to include PDF files without any app changes in under three days, allowing their customers to move through booking process much faster. PixieSet is another of our customers. We were recently talking with PixieSet about this new feature and they're excited to start using it. PixieSet is an all-in-one platform for modern photographers offering photo client galleries, website, online stores, and studio management software tools. Launched in 2013, PixieSet is one of the fastest growing companies in the photography industry. Today, hundreds of thousands of photographers around the world use PixieSet to make their business simpler, more professional, and more streamlined. With S3 Object Lambda's integration with Amazon CloudFront, PixieSet plans to apply transformations and watermarks on the fly as images are accessed from CloudFront, allowing them to further transform and simplify their operations. They also said that they will be able to take advantage of the benefits of global caching while no longer needing to store multiple copies of the same image. For getting started with S3 Object Lambda, I would encourage you to scan this QR code that will take you directly to the tutorial that helps you get started with Amazon S3 Object Lambda. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you learned a lot about the benefits that S3 Object Lambda provides, and I'm super excited to see how you start using the feature.